Houston. The Chevron Houston Marathon is happening this weekend and streets are already closed for Sunday. Yeah, it is the single largest spectator event here in Houston and Channel 2 is Marianne Martinez live at the finish line in downtown Houston. And Marianne, that's going to be the main target for so many runners this weekend. That's right, 35,000 runners to be exact coming to Houston. Some of them just want to get a good run in. Others are uh, preparing for bigger races regardless of their goals. They're all going to end up here on Sunday at the finish line. I just love running. It's Claire Burke's seventh year running the half marathon at the Houston Marathon. She lives in the woodlands. It's just something that if I'm going to run, I may as well just have a purpose for it and gives me a goal to accomplish and... Um, try to beat my time every year. For her, participating in a run that draws world-class athletes is the reward itself. But others are hoping to win the whole race and the prize money. I'm hoping to put my competitors on notice um, and be the first uh, ambulant Paralympian all time to go well under 220. Michael Royger has won bronze medals for Australia's Paralympic team before. Born without the lower part of his right arm, he continues to seek gold. Like him, many elite runners are in Houston this weekend seeking to qualify for the Olympic trials. Known for its flat course and good weather, the Houston Marathon is a stepping stone to bigger things. Yeah, just a good step towards Tokyo later this year. Fantastic. What do you think about the weather Sunday? 45 degrees maybe for the start of the race? Um, I think that's going to be perfect. Now, if you want to support those runners, you can obviously come downtown or there will be gatherings as well at each mile marker. And some of them have very well-known entertainment. For instance, there's an Elvis that's always at mile marker one, serenading the runners as they go by. Reporting live from downtown, Marianne Martinez, KPRC Channel 2 News. Oh, thank you very much, Marianne. Yeah.